Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Karen Joyce and I'm the co-founder and education director at SheMaps. So back in 2016, the theme for National Science Week in Australia was drones and a lot of the local schools around my university knew that I worked with drones and seen me in the media and that sort of thing and so they asked me to come and talk to their students about the sort of work that I was doing. And it was really fun talking to a lot of the primary or elementary school kids that were really keen, really curious. But I noticed that when I went to our local high school that there were no girls that came to my talk. And so this started me thinking of, you know, what's the issue? And, and I spoke to the teachers and they told me that girls just aren't interested in this sort of stuff. And well, obviously that can't be true because obviously it's something that I'm interested in working with drones for remote sensing purposes. So I, I sort of wanted to delve into that and I, and I said to the teacher, I said, what about if we ran something for girls only? Do you think that would be successful? And he said, well, you can give it a try. So I applied for some money, got some funding to do this and went back to the same school. And within 24 hours of offering it to the high school, we had 60 girls sign up for this drone program and there was also a waiting list. And that began the SheMats program as, as it is today as well. So I'll share with you some of the pictures of some of the work that we do. We really heavily promote working with girls and women as well. And we talk a lot about unconscious bias as we talk about how we use drones for geospatial technology, building in earth observation. And so see, these are some of the students working through the program. You can see a line of students or with micro drones, the really small drones set up there. And basically they're going through a program that simulates a day in the life of a geospatial scientist where they learn about drone safety, they learn about different applications, and then they go through a process of flying their drones manually, having lots and lots of fun, feeling, really, feeling a real sense of accomplishment doing this. And then we work them through a, a small program where they get to try automated flight or coding their flights to run a drone mapping mission over what you see on the screen here is a beautiful satellite image map that they fly backwards and forwards over. You see a little bit closer up there and it really builds collaboration with the students as well. Then we realised that working with just the students wasn't enough. So we work now with a lot of teachers because we figure if we can teach one teacher, then they have a class of 30 year on year and that really helps us build that impact. We now run the program around Australia and in 15 different countries as well. We've grown to not just using the micro drones, but also building up into the sub two kilogram drones. And so you'll see a couple of late high school students here learning how they use real drones to make maps. And one of my favorite parts is working with our indigenous rangers to look at how they can map their country for monitoring purposes.